you guys ready for some cleaning motivation? Now this is kind of like the beginning of spring cleaning. I'm digging deep, but I'm not digging my deepest. How you feeling? Um, the place is looking a little rough, a little messy. And what I like to do is I like to go and clean my kids' room once a week. They are responsible for their rooms other than that, but I go in and I deep clean, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm also gonna deep clean my room as well. I'm not doing no bathrooms. Not today, not in this video. But first, this part of the video is sponsored by Ritual. And I'm gonna show you guys the Symbiotic Plus and the Essentials for Women 18 Plus. Now the Essentials for Women's 18 Plus is formulated with nine key ingredients that you see on the screen here. And Ritual is very transparent on where they get their ingredients from. And you don't have to worry about taking so many different pills every day. You just take these two capsules right here to fill that nutritional gap in your diet. It supports brain health and bone health, supports the red blood cell formulation, and provides antioxidant support. It also has a delayed release capsule design, so that it's gentle on an empty stomach, so you don't have to take it with food. On to the Symbiotic Plus. It's a three-in-one formula. It has the pre, pro, and postbiotic. So you don't have to worry about taking three different pills because it's all in one capsule. And what we need in our body is good gut health. And a good gut is when you have more of that good bacteria than the bad bacteria. You don't want that bad stuff overpowering the good. And this capsule also has that delayed release so that it can make it past your stomach and into your colon. That's where we want this pill to do its magic. So I'm giving you guys 20% off your first month. Go to Ritual.com and use the code HOLDEN20. Now who's ready to clean? So we're going to start off with Lizzie's room. Um, she likes to try to eat snacks in her room and it got a little sticky in here. It was one time when she was sick and ants ended up being in this room. So that's why I make sure that I come in here and I give myself a deep sensational clean okay moms and dads don't look at it like well my kid is of age they need to clean their own room they sure should you better make them clean their room but you better go in there as well because it's your home right you better go in there as well and do some deep cleaning or you gonna have some bugs in your house how you feeling because we had some ants in Lizzie's room. So I go in here and I deep clean. As you can see, her room is pretty clean. I just keep repeating myself. <laughs> but um, I, I make sure I wipe everything down at least once a week, once every other week. Um, she's responsible for that. I vacuum and I shampoo because they had a vacuum moves in Connecticut and they broke it. So I vacuum the house, okay? That's what I do, because you're not breaking my vacuum. How you feeling? And they are definitely not going to shampoo the carpet because it will be a swimming pool. Now, I'm sure you noticed that I'm coming in my room to get their bedding. Well, that is because we don't sleep in our bedding. I say that in um, all the videos that I show our bedding is because it keeps it like, it keeps it fresh, y'all. It keeps it clean, fresh. We have our separate bedding, like blankets, sheets, and stuff that we sleep with. That is for decoration. It's kind of like a coat. Think of it that way. You don't wear your coat in the house all around the house, right? You only wear your coat when you go outside, or your special coat, or your suit, okay? It's a three-piece suit. That's what it is. See that, that little sheet right there? I put that sheet right in the little the little thing thing for him. Um, he either sleeps with that sheet or that red blanket or there's a blue blanket that he has in the in their sitting room. You'll see it in a little while, y'all. But it's like it's like wearing that that three-piece suit or or wearing a nice dress. You only put it on special occasions. And the special occasion is when we get out of the bed and we decorate our bed. How you feeling? Boom. So right now I'm not I'm not organizing anything in their room. I'm just straightening it up. All of their toys are in their closet. So I'm I'm sure you're probably looking like, where are their toys? They ain't got no toys, these kids. When we first moved in, the kids made the decision that they wanted to keep their toys inside of their um, closets. And now I realize it's because they want to flip and do Taekwondo tricks in their room and they want space. Now, as y'all see here, um, that's Eddie's little glasses stand. So I just wanted to show y'all, I use my glasses as demonstration. But I'm thinking I might tell them to put their toys in their room so they can stop flipping, dipping, and tripping all over the place. But that's why you don't see any toys out there, because um, they're all in their closet. Now on to my room. My room is pretty simple. I just got a bed, a desk, 
nightstands, you know, I don't have much stuff in my room. Um, but yeah, there's really not much for me to say about my room. Um, other than you're going to notice that I have a computer table inside my room, like a computer desk. I'm not going to show myself up close cleaning that because I have personal information, like my address and all that stuff on there. And I didn't want to be moving things around and being fake um, to do a, a video. So I was just like, if it has personal information, I'm just not going to show it. I'm not going to clean up a space so that I could clean up a space on camera, like clean it off camera. <clears throat> Sorry clean it off camera enough so I could clean it on camera like you know that's weird so I want to be transparent real how you feeling y'all lucky I didn't have my pajamas and my scarf on y'all I was ready that's how it's gonna be when I clean the bathroom I have my hair tied down when I clean the bathroom and I have on my bleach clothes you know you know you have painting clothes I got bleach clothes so when y'all see me clean the bathroom in another video see that's the desk I'm talking about when y'all see me clean the bathroom in another video mama gonna be looking rough that's how it is over here I hold it down Now we are on to shampooing the carpet. Yes, we are. Um, I'm actually going to put a video up in the cards of me talk about this Hoover. Um, I actually made a whole video about it. Uh, well, um, I don't think it was a whole video. It, it was a, a little segment in there, but you guys will enjoy it. Um, this thing really sucks up the nastiness in the floor because I didn't even know our floor was this dirty. We just moved in um back in july of last year so we haven't been here a year yet and this is a brand new house so i guess the only people that walked on it were the construction workers people that were looking at the house but no one lived here um before we did but now the carpet is oh it smells so good and it's so fluffy i love some carpet lines and fluffy carpet and you, it just goes through your toes and everything. Ooh, 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 I love it. And we, we don't walk um, in in our house with shoes on. Well, if I forgot something, I run back in the house, I tiptoe through the house with my shoes on, but like walking in the house comfortably with shoes on, nope, you come over our house, you are barefoot or socks. Just look at them, just look at them lines, look at them lines, I love it. to the living room and the kids sitting room and I want to start off by apologizing for the lighting I tried my best in post-production but this couch is so white that it it, it confused the cameras because I was working with two cameras I was working with two cameras and it confused the world out of them and it made it so bright it was like a highlighter um, and so you could see like the the tone in my shirt and my pants is real dark and rich because I had to deepen it y'all but anyway back to the whole cleaning you see them lines I love lines I was putting lines in the in the couch because we have a cat and the thing I was using which I'm gonna show a little later the thing I was using is getting all his hair out if you have any form of a pet whether it's a cat a dog a rat a rabbit no matter what it is you are going to want to get you one of these. I'm, I'm gonna show you. You're like, what is it, girl? You, you gotta keep looking. Boom. Shh. 
true um because you're gonna want hair especially if you have um a light couch you want the hair off your furniture that's not cute you can have a clean house quote unquote clean house all you want but if there's hair everywhere it don't look clean and nobody's gonna want to come to your house nobody's going to eat at your house okay you can't tell that we have a pet until you see him or you see his like scratch pads everywhere like for example if you are afraid of a cat all I gotta do is take his stuff and put it in my room you wouldn't know we had one unless you're allergic because you know your allergies can tell you everything but um you wouldn't be able to tell we had a cat but his hair is not everywhere like you could come over our house and eat okay you could feel comfortable eating because we're not nasty boom 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 how you feeling and I know some people are gonna be like why she keep saying how you feeling I don't know it's just a thing that I say that when you come over here you're gonna get boom you're gonna get how you feeling you're gonna get round you're gonna get that okay I'm silly that's how I am now I'm about to show you guys the little the little great sensation oh and you gonna hear the word sensation <laughs> but before that let's shampoo the rug over here yep and the little roller that I was using is called the Chom Chom Roller. I got it from Amazon, link will be down below. And you just manually use it like a vacuum, I guess you wanna say. And then it will collect any lint, dust, hair, fur, fuzz. It's amazing, y'all. And that's it, easy to clean. Amazon, link down below. Don't ask me where you got it in the comments cause it's in the link down below. <laughs> now we are moving on to the kitchen. Yes, we are. There's not really much to say about the kitchen, so I'm gonna let y'all enjoy the jams because I notice I've been talking a lot and you guys always compliment me on the music that I give you guys, but you guys aren't able to enjoy it in full effect because I'm talking, okay? But as you can see here, um, I was drying off the dishes because sometimes I don't let it heat dry because sometimes it does some weird things to my Target plastic plates. So I just let it, I just let it clean and then I dry it with a, 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 a cloth so let me shut up now and you can enjoy the jams on the ones and twos boom boom are gonna notice that I'm not cleaning Nana's room 
Um, we actually have four bedrooms in this house, and you see that I, clo I closed. I clean three bedrooms because Nana cleans her own bedroom. She grown, and then Nana cleans her own bathroom. So we have three bathrooms here. Now I don't clean my kids' bathroom. Okay, I I've never cleaned that bathroom. Well, that's a lie. I cleaned it before we moved in. Like I cleaned everything before furniture came and that's the only time I clean their bathroom. My motto is, if my booty don't sit in that room, my booty don't clean that room. How you feeling? It's like, no, but I'm serious. Um, if my booty don't sit on that toilet, I ain't cleaning that toilet. My kids are responsible for that. Now this y'all, I don't know why our floor is always dirty. Y'all, you would think that I had two dogs, a ferret, a rat, and a couple cockroaches. You don't understand my kids, and all I got is two kids and a cat, okay? Two kids, little kids, and a cat. And they are some nasty little creatures. Y'all, you hear me getting work. You hear it in my voice. But our floor is always so filthy. I am constantly sweeping. Now look at this. You saw I move that little cat scratcher? Look at all that catnip. Look at that. Homeboy Skillet was feeling nice on this new cat scratcher thing that he had that he tipped the whole doggone thing over so the catnip can come on outside so he could get lit. I don't know what it is. I can't stand catnip, but I need him to scratch the scratch pad so he can stop scratching our couches. That's why I put it in it. Um, but yeah, look at all that sensation. Mm-hmm. just want to say thank you guys so much for just loving us subscribing watching our videos i hope you sharing them and liking them just being there for us and my family because without you guys this wouldn't be possible i truly appreciate you guys Okay.